This is CBS 2 News at 5. Higher prices for getting high. The Cook County Board today approved a 3% tax on recreational weed sales. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli breaks down the mounting costs. We're inside the Mission Dispensary on the southeast side, where managers say there's been a steady stream of customers here ever since January 1st, when legal recreational sales began. They say they're not surprised by the new 3% tax imposed by Cook County, but when you talk to customers, reaction is mixed. I'm trying to go by the law and by medical, um, well, recreational, legal, but I could go to a gangbanger right now and get something a lot cheaper. It does make it expensive, um, but it also allows, I guess, to regulate it and put those funds, indicate those funds where we're needed here in the city or in the Cook County area. The tax would not apply to medical users, but for recreational use, taxes could reach 41% or more for some weed products. Let's break it down. The county's 3% tax would be added to the city's expected 3% tax, and that is in addition to state excise taxes of 10 to 25%, depending on the amount of THC, the high inducing ingredient, in the weed. And don't forget Chicago sales taxes, which are an additional 10.25%. Mission dispensary managers say it's part of doing business with a controlled product. I think uh, at some point, you know, you, you can only get taxed so much and that will negatively Im impact business. But I think, you know, currently, you know, considering, you know, the state of, of things in the state, I think, you know, they're pursuing all options of revenue. Here's a comparison for you now. Federal, state and local taxes on a pack of cigarettes can be more than $8. And over the years, those taxes have continued to rise. Reporting on the southeast side, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.